Okay, so this is going to be a short tutorial on how to change the brakes and rotors of a 2008 uh, Lexus IS250. Uh, I've already done one side, so I'm just take to the other. So first step, just uh, jack up the car and take off the wheel. I think it uses a lug size 20 or 22. This one is missing the writing on it, so I, yeah, can't tell you. Um, there's just one bolt on the rear. Yeah, use a number 19 on the caliper. It's just back here. Just want to show them. This one back here. And uh, before you take that off, you have to take out the brakes. For those, you have to pull out these clips. So, just want to come to this side. So, to take off these clips, pretty much you just gotta pull the sides off first. It's two pieces. So, somehow, pull these two sides off first, push it down, this one, you have to push down, and out, and it kind of like, flips out. My gloves are getting away. Okay, like that, and then uh, to remove the this one because it goes straight down to hold the bolts from coming out. So safety, you just have to twist it and pull out. That's one piece out. And to take out the pads, all you got to do is slide out these. And you got to remember for the one that goes at the back, it has this little notch. It has to be facing downward, so when you reinstall it, you got to remember that. Okay, so after you've taken off the caliper's bolt on the back, the caliper will just bend down. So you got to remember before, when, before we install it, you got to loop the slide pin over here, and the same thing goes for the caliper over here. It just slides back. We just want to come to the top. So this thing will just slide off. And you gotta lube the slider pin over here as well. So for now, I guess just press it on top of here. In the meanwhile, we can push in the piston. So excuse one of the old pads. I'm using the one from the front because it's bigger, so it won't fall in. And just compress down the piston. Um, if you do it slowly, uh, be better because uh, I didn't open up the reservoir cap, so doing it slowly shouldn't uh, overflow anything. Once that's in, I guess you just pull off the rotor. If it is stuck, uh, you could put in two 8mm um, bolts into the holes. You just have to twist them off until you hear a little click sound, then it'll pop free. But these came off pretty easily this time, so I'll just use one. So just uh, grease up the guide pin first. And just grease up the pin at the back over here. Just a little bit more. And uh, another thing you could do is grease up the piston, just the lip of it. Then just slip the caliper back on, just move it around to slip into place. And there's a bushing over here, you have to try to attach that on. The easiest way is if you push it forward a bit first, then you just got to pick it up and put it on. And besides that one, uh, just put the guide pin from the top back in, the bushing back on. Just move it around a bit just to make sure that it doesn't come off again and that it's moving freely. Uh, remember there's a grommet on the rotor that you're going to be replacing. It's in over here so you just got to pull it out and it sticks back on. To know which position the rotor goes back in place, just look at the hub. There's usually wear from the old one. So it just goes in place. 
helper. Just got to put back on and tighten it. The torque spec on this bolt, it's supposed to be 18 foot pounds. Um, I got that from the Lexus dealership. We pull off the old shims off the old brake pads because we got to reuse them on the new ones. Just remember to put the bit of the caliper lube on both sides and just attach it on. If they attach on pretty loose like this one just did, just use some pliers and uh, squeeze this in. Remember, be careful not to put any grease on the face of the pad. So pretty much to insert these, the first one I always do this side first. Just push the piston in as much as you can with your hand. And just drop the pad in. It should go in easy like that. And just repeat the same step for this side. Put the bottom on first. And slowly push that on. And remember to have this tab facing to towards the inner side of the car. And why don't you just slip in. For the second one, you have to remember to put the clip in first. So basically how it goes is these tabs should be facing downward like that. So just put the clip in first a little bit and just drop this in place. After you do that, it just pushes up. And you can't clip this first yet. You first have to put this thing in. Found it's easier. So this thing faces upward like this. There's two little holes in uh, the guide pin at the top and bottom. So I'll just slip that in. First thing you got to do is after you take out the wheel, just loosen up the two uh, guide bolts. Usually you're using a breaker bar, or in this case I'm just using a torque wrench, because they're pretty hard. These have to be tightened down to 60 foot-pounds, or sorry, these have to be tightened down to 25 foot-pounds, and the inner bracket one is uh, 60, I believe, that's what the dealer was telling me last time. So I'm just going to use a little sock because I've already broken them down. Don't let it dangle down because you can put, again, pressure on the brake line, so I'm just going to zip tie it up to something over here. Or actually, i got a little bucket I'll put it on top of. So after that, um, to take off the rotor, we're going to have to take off these uh, bolts that are on the bracket. So for that one, oh sorry, I forgot to mention, these two are uh, 14 mil on the caliper and the one on the bracket, that one is a 17 mil. So gonna have to use a break one for that for sure. I didn't do this one yet. Actually uh, remember before we reassemble you have to pull up the guide pins from here. Pull down the bushing a bit. And just remember to grease them both up before you reinstall everything. And for the pads, they should just slide out. When you're reinstalling them, you have to remember to take off this one off the original. A little uh, clip faces down. It's the same thing on both sides. To reuse the shims as well. We'll clean those off and put those on after. And I guess uh, from the bracket over here, little clips, remember to clean these off with brake clean or I'm just using a wire, uh, sorry, a wire welding brush and then some brake clean after. And remember to grease these up a bit as well, just to help prevent a bit of the squeaking. The front rotor was uh, stuck a bit, so I'm just using two uh, eight millimeter bolts.
So, anyways, I guess before we reattach, um, it's a good idea to grease this part up a bit because uh, when we were taking off our wheel, we had a bit of a hard time because this is like heavily corroded. Okay, and just remember to grease up the two uh, clips over here on both sides and just take out the sliders and grease those as well. I've already done all that, so. And just move it around a bit just to make sure and slip the boot cover back on. Just pump it a bit just to get it back in the track. There you go, those are good. So before we reattach this back on, let's just push the piston back in. So I'll just use the old pad, put it on top, and your seat clamp. Okay, so um, after we assemble that in, just remember to torque these two on the mounting uh, to 60 foot-pounds. So um, after you've tightened those down to 60, just reinstall the pads. So just put the bottom in first. And same thing for this one with the uh, clip facing down. And just rock in. And just reattach the caliper and uh, tighten this down to 25 foot pounds. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, and uh, before you drive off, remember to pump the brake pedal a couple of times until it gets uh, really hard with the car started. And uh, we're done.